Then came the day that still lives in infamy, the attack on Pearl Harbor. The Oklahoma was hit by Japanese torpedoes. It quickly capsized, killing Eddie. Eddie. the Marines on board, including Eddie. For years, the military could only identify 35 of the men. <laughs> the others, nearly 400 of them, were buried together as unknowns at a military Hi. cemetery in Honolulu Oops. known as the Punch Bowl. Good boy. You a good boy. Recorded there on the walls of the missing. But in 2015, the agency charged with finding and identifying missing service members disinterred the remains, hoping to identify all 388 missing men. We spent the last six years sorting. Good boy. Anthropological analysis, dental analysis, DNA, and today we are up to 336 hey, sailors and marines that now are back with their families. Using DNA samples from living relatives and comparing dental records with defense POW MIA hey, Ruby. agency can spend years Hi, baby. one sailor from the Oklahoma. It just depends on the type of DNA we need to use. Now the 80th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor <laughs> may mark the end of the USS Oklahoma project. By the end of this summer, uh, we will um, have done as much as we can. But the DPAA mission is far from...